if you've been struggling in your business and you've been trying to figure out do I shut down? Do I persevere? Is it giving up? What does this say about me? So I'm going to share with you what, how to make that decision, whether to decide to pivot or to shut down the business altogether and do something else. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification so that you can get notified of other videos that I do that are going to be just as useful as this one. So what do you do if you've been struggling in your business for a while and you're trying to figure out, is this worth it? Should I continue? Am I just around the corner from success and when I give up, I'll regret it when I watch other people making it happen and being successful with my business idea. So there are a couple of things that I want you to ask yourself. What problem is your business solving? Because a lot of the times we start businesses because they are a good idea. You're sitting down and you're thinking, I have this skill. I think it's a good idea. I'm going to start a business around this. But the best way to start a business is to look at a problem that exists for people that's painful enough that they will want to pay you to solve it. Now, if your existing business hasn't been set up that way, if your existing business is based on what you think is a good idea, you want to backtrack and ask yourself, what problem is this business solving? Who is it solving for? How painful is that problem? Because let me tell you, if right now you had the cure for, let's say, cancer, and people with that particular type of cancer, uh, of course, that's a painful problem. But if you had the cure for it, you can only imagine that you wouldn't go out of business, right? You didn't even have to negotiate prices because people will pay you to solve that problem because it's so painful. That's the thing with business. When you're, you're doing something, whatever business you're doing, look at it from that perspective. Is it solving an actual problem? Is it a painful problem? And are the people who I'm solving that problem for, do they have the ability to pay for it? Because maybe they have the need, but they can't afford to pay for it even if they wanted to. So that's what you want to look at. The second thing that you want to look at is what have you already done to try and get new, fresh blood into your business? Because if you've you know, been passively waiting for referrals and repeat business, that's going to be a problem. In today's day and age, you have to take an active role. Digital marketing is a great platform. Like social media is a fantastic platform for you to be able to get people who didn't know you existed and people who would not have known about your products. And also you can engage with your, both your existing customers and potential customers because people can come on there, ask you questions. You can share tips and advice like I'm doing right now. So it's a great platform for you to build your brand, build your authority in the industry and help get new customers. So what have you done around that? Because if you've been passively waiting, then you haven't given your business a fighting chance. You need to get new blood into your business on a regular. And you cannot be one of those newbies who comes and posts like every so often. You have to be consistent. And you have to know how to create the right content, the kind of content that sells, the kind of content that's convincing. You have to know these things. And that's why I actually have a training program that goes into detail around that. And I'll include the link below this video because I love to help entrepreneurs get their products and their business in front of more people because it's critical for the growth of your business. Before you decide whether your business is doing well or not, you have to have given it that fighting chance. And the third thing that I think, you know, like when it comes to deciding whether you need to give up on your business or not, is also to look at your business from a future perspective. So I want you to think of your business in the future and imagine what the future looks like with your business. Is there enough of a market share or is it something that's very um like trendy so it's it may not work in the future and i want you to be honest with yourself like all these things that i'm sharing with you i need you to really be introspective like shut yourself in a room or a bathroom if you can't get space 
and just really think about these questions before you make any decision on whether to shut down a business or not. And even if you're not looking at shutting down your business, these are great foundations for you to use, for you to continue pushing forward your business because your business probably makes somebody's life better. And I want you to really get the message out there and to really push forward and not to shut it down for the wrong reasons. So back to number three. You want to look at the future of the business, look at whether there's really a market, there's a significant market for what it is that you're providing. Look at what would take you out of business. Is it, you know, for a lot of businesses, they didn't realize that they didn't see COVID and nobody saw a pandemic as a thing that would have affected businesses this way. So look at your business from the future and say, what are the threats to your business? What could happen? Like, I, I keep thinking, for me, my horror is if internet gets shut down across the world. <laughs> like, that is a horror story. I can't imagine what the world would look like with no internet <laughs> imagine that it's unlikely but so was covid right so you want to sit down and look at these things so that you plan in the future in the event that for example the internet gets shut down i'd be doing physical classes but i wouldn't stop because i have a plan at least i've thought about it hopefully it never happens but if it ever does then you you prepare yourself for any other future eventualities. But look at you, the, the, your business in the future. Look at it 20 years down the road. Are you going to be doing this? Because if this is not a business that you want to be doing in 20 years, yeah, you probably are in one of those businesses where you're just looking at making money for the short term and you're going to struggle. It's gonna be hard, you may make some money in the short run, but it will not fulfill you, which means that when things get tough, you'll probably want to bail because it doesn't make you happy anyway. So you want to do something that really brings you joy, something that you'd be doing in the next 20 years, something that makes people's lives better as a result of being your customer. So I want you to look at those three things before you decide, do I, shut down my business and if you do make the decision to shut down your business it doesn't mean not not starting another business you know sometimes you have to pull back you know like when um what's a fair called in english fair right you can see the fair <laughs> but if you if you look back in order for you to go far for your stone if you're trying to hit something in order for you you it to go far you have to really pull that thing backwards and then let go right it's the same thing sometimes in life you have to pull back in order for you to go forward in order for you to go farther so some of these setbacks are not permanent setbacks you can start another business you can sit down and say let me look for business ideas that don't require capital and then you see whether you're going to enjoy doing that business or you're going to use it as a way to make money to do the thing that you really love to do which is totally acceptable as well so if you do decide to shut down don't stop becoming an being an entrepreneur it's not the end of the road you may have to pull back a little bit go back maybe move in with a friend go back home that's just going back with the with the vision that you're doing this so you can leap further not so you can stay back there i mean you've done a business for for this long like and and we need your business we need your products and services we need what you have to offer so think i mean like your skills actually that's what i was thinking we need your skills we need your ambitions we need we need you you're the only one who can do that thing that you do so well so don't give up even if you shut down look at it temporarily and then plant yourself further in the future so if if that was you, if this really resonates with you, let me know in the comments. I can't wait to read and read from you and hear your comments about this. And just 
you know this is a safe space like my channel is a safe space if if you say something and somebody comes out and tries to attack you best believe that if i say that comment i will delete it so this is a safe space feel free to share what you're going through feel free to share some of the challenges you have feel free to ask for advice between myself and anybody else on this channel we could also help you come up with ideas and come up with even content for another video that i can make that would be just as useful as this one so i'll see you the next time oh and all the best i really really do wish you all the best no matter what you're struggling with um no matter what your business is going through and everything i really do pray for you and i wish you all the best and i hope that you make the right decision and that we get to see you in the future ciao